Hello, Milwaukee. This is Pastor Walter Owens of New Life International Ministry. This is the day that our Lord and Savior has made, and boy, we're going to really rejoice in it. Along with myself and my partner in Christ, Pastor Charles Zimmer. We welcome all our listeners to our weekly broadcast show, Focus 2020. As believers in Christ, we must have a 2020 vision and a transformative mindset to live and abide and walk in the plan and the will God has for your life. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to our weekly broadcast, Focus 2020, right here at Joy 1340 AM and 98.7 FM. We have in the studio with us my brother, special guest. Mm -hmm. He is sitting next to Pastor Charles Emery. I'm going to be myself today. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, because you started out when I, I when I went to cue you, 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 you. I hesitated. I had to hesitated. think for a second. I had to make sure I wouldn't be who I am today and not Barney Fife. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Brother Tony Turner is with us today. Are you going to act normal? I'll try. Okay, okay. No promise. No promise. Okay. <laughs> Brother Tony, how you doing today, man? Uh, I'm, I'm just wonderful, Pastor. Uh, you know, first of all, let me say all blessings and glory go to our Father, the Lord and Savior. I am honored to be here. I have been listening to the program for over a year now, and I, I just enjoy listening. I, I've Amen. learned a lot. Uh, I'm honored to be sitting between two powerful men of God that is dedicated Amen. to the Word. Um, I'm happy to know that pastor is uh, himself today. I, I, I wouldn't want to be sitting <laughs> next to someone that I don't know who, who he is. Amen. <laughs> you heard him. He's going to try to be himself. Yes, sir. We can't guarantee it. But, hey, uh, I, all he can do is try to be myself. <laughs> Well, we're going to push him in that direction. <laughs> amen, amen. I, I want to send a shout out to a friend of mine on the real note. Ahead, I have a friend of mine. He called me this morning. He was, he went to the hospital having chest pains. His name is Connell Rogers. want to uh, keep him lifted up in prayer. They, they would reveal whatever the underlying issue is because this is the second time he had to go to the hospital for the same condition. So can I do a prayer real quick for him? Oh, yeah, Father, in Jesus' name, we just send your word out today, right where he is, oh God, in, in the hospital. I ask that you touch his body, his mind, his spirit, that you bring clarity and understanding to the doctor. They find the underlying issues, Father, in his body, that it will bring healing and bring deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we yes. pray. Amen. 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 And, and while we're doing that, that uh, I'm going to send out two special prayers. One from my wife to have traveling grace, our cousin. Uh, she's going in next week in uh to have uh, surgery on a heart, open heart. And my wife is upset. But God told me that everything's going to be okay. That's right. And one thing I love about when God says something, he said, you got to have the faith in me. Ye yeah, little it. faith is open that door for, that, for the the enemy to come in. And then the second prayer for our dear brother Tony, who's sitting with us, joining yes, us today. Yes, he yes. goes in Friday to have surgery on his knee. And again, the same thing. God yes. has got you, and we got to trust got you. Thank you, Thank you, Pastor. So, most gracious God, we just pray yes. for those who have any family members that are sick and shed in. Uh, just touch their bodies, heal them, because it's your doctor. If you can heal the one with the issue of blood, if you can even heal the blind man, you can yes, heal Lord. the lame man, you can do it, because they trust and their faith is in you. And this is our prayer in your mighty son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. Pastor, I want to go ahead and let's, 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 let's finish up what we was talking about last week. Okay. You know, we were uh, talking about the transformation from the breach. You know, um, and when we were speaking about that, we were just talking about you shared something with me from the book of Psalms 30, I think it was. Yes. And we was talking about our youth, the young people, the young men and women today, is there there are laws. And one thing that I saw here, and I want us uh, uh, to to bring us up to date. You know, we're talking about ungodly conversation. I think, uh, Brother Tony, in the days time that we live in, people get so caught up in the conversation, they want to satisfy other people, they need that stigma, they need that approval for man. But God said, I have already given you my stamp and my approval. Amen. And, Absolutely. and when we see those things happening, it gets us lost because it says an ungodly conversation, and it's a breach. These yes, breaches yes. are also seldom addressed, and that's what we want to do today. We want to address these ungodly conversations. Yes. Uh, to our guest, Brother Tony, when there's a breach or, or something that you want to share with somebody, 
uh, that is going through something. How would you uh, address that? Well, first of all, Pastor, I, I love what you just said. Um, in today's time, mm-hmm. you know, God, we know our Father in heaven, He has no time. Come he has right. no boundaries. Right. Amen. Amen. Um, so we're living in today's time, in today's world. So when it comes to speaking to the youth, we realize that they have an evil, mean-spirited thought pattern. That's right. So to, That's right. to reach out to them, first of all, we cannot cannot come to them with a, with, a, with, a, with a harshness. We have to come to them with a soft voice and be exact and what you say to them and be able to go to the book and point out these things that we're speaking about so they can see it for themselves and just generally trying to get them to understand that the path that they're on is not a righteous path. And I think in, in, in essence of all that that I'm saying, I think you'll be able to reach those that have these boundaries that they are that they're they're connected with and have and can't break those uh, strongholds. Amen. Amen. That's right. Ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, and it just reminds me of the scripture how it talks about in Luke. I think it's Luke twenty four, or Matthew twenty between those two passages. It talks about how uh, um, we're going to be in the last days a wicked and perverse generation mm-hmm. who's going to turn from the Lord. And you, Amen. The, the scripture you're talking about is Proverbs thirty verse fourteen says this generation whose teeth are as swords mm. and their jaws jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. And this is what we're experiencing in today's time yes, where sir. people yes, are sir. lashing out at one another, yes, especially young people. They're so aggressive and so yes. violent. Amen. It's just like we just witnessed on the news with the Alabama f- fighting down there, you know, at the, the, at the border of the, or the water and everything. It's, it's so much happening there that because the generational spirits, that's what God keeps reminding me, it's generational spirits that transfer from generations that transfer, transfer through the bloodline to the generation that day so that's why they become so wicked Mm -hmm. because they don't know how to be free so all they do is brood evil and spread our wickedness amen you know pastors and both of you are brother tony Mm -hmm. and and, 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 and pastor charles i love what both of you are saying because you know when when conversation arrives and that's one thing that i've learned being in in the body of christ is that Things that are happening, nobody wants to listen. Everybody's on this power trip. Wars is breaking out. The Bible said there are going to be wars mm-hmm. and rumors of wars. Nobody wants to listen. It's my way or the highway. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, what it, where we are lacking and breaking down so much is that the conversation. Nobody wants to listen. They don't want to talk. First of all, if I say something, I think you uh, exalted me. And I know this talks about criticism, backbiting, judgmental, complaining, murmur, gossiping about things. Well, this person said this here, and then, well, you talked about me. And then it caused a big old problem. And I want to talk about today, Pastor, is that receiving the transformation of the breach. The new yes. page here. Yes. You can transform mm-hmm. and the new way oh, of yeah. life. Oh, yeah. And and when we're talking about a uh, stronghold of uh, 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 Brother Tony, is mm. we got to be aware. Is say first of all, we got to know again, uh, uh, Brother Tony and Pastor. We got to know where do these do- demonic strongholds come from. Amen. I know yes. one of you all say earlier it starts at the home. Mm-hmm. It, it is something that it's a curse. Yeah. And that's what we got to do because before a demonic stronghold can be overcome, we should understand exactly what are they. The word stronghold appears only once in the New Testament and 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. And the Greek word translates stronghold mean a fortification such as a castle. You know, that's, that's, a, that's interesting. It says that because... When I, I, I watch a lot of Mid- Middle Eastern, you know, movies and things where they have wars, like the Romans and the Jews fighting each other. Like I saw the, the story of Esther, and I saw how um, when when Queen Esther got the, you know, have found out that there was going to be a war against her people, she wanted to defend her people. So they were fortified in their 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 fort in their fortress, even though the enemy came up against them to go against their people, they still were trusting in their God. And that's the thing when the enemy does, the enemy wants to get you fortified. Now, I said this last week. He wants to get you fortified in your stronghold, which is your rebellion, your sin, your iniquity, where you can't break free from it. So you're locked in to a place, a perimeter, where you can't find
find a way out. And like I was talking about last week about sealing the breach. And in order to seal, to seal the breach, you got to identify what the breach is and what it is. Mm. What is Amen. this breach in my life? Amen. And how can I allow God to come in to seal that breach in my heart? Brother, Tom. Amen, amen, Pastor. You know, first of all, it reminds me, when you speak of strongholds, uh, you know, I, I think about two different types of stronghold. First stronghold, I'm thinking about spiritual stronghold. Okay, a, okay. A satanic stronghold. Right. Then you have a natural stronghold. Right. Most people are in this satanic or natural stronghold. And what I mean by that is if you're in a natural stronghold, you can allow something simple as overeating become a stronghold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when we, t- when we reverse that and flip that over into a spiritual stronghold, then we're, we're, we're talking about demonic strongholds mm-hmm. compared to God's everlasting love for us to be in His grace. Amen. So Amen. Um, I, I just like to define which one we're talking about. So if we're speaking spiritual strongholds and we're trying to seal that breach, yes. Yes. then I, I find it necessary to get closer to God because God is the only one that's going to be able to seal that breach. That's Amen. right. That's Amen. right. So, so he, has, he has power over those demonic spirits. And, yes, and, and back to Pastor Charles said a little while ago before we got into the breach, um, he said we, our, our youth is so angry. Yes. I mean, you just, you just feel it in their spirit. And, mm-hmm. and so I'm just hoping that God can come and touch these angry spirits and breach those, breach those things that, that, that's binding them to a path of destruction. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I want to add something to what you were just saying, Brother Tony, is that when you were saying, and Pastor Charles was sharing us so eloquent when we were talking about the strongholds over our youth, it starts at home. Mm-hmm. And, yes. and we keep saying this over and over, and, and myself and Pastor Charles, we always talk, and he speaks to this so highly. You got to be very careful what you allow in your ear gate. Yep. You got to be careful who is controlling your home. Yes, yes. And, and the thing is, is that the Bible speaks to that. Men's going to be lover of, of their themselves. Self. Uh, 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 sons against father, mother against daughter, and look what's happening. Even, even God spoke about there are going to be wars and rumors of war. There's going to be fires. These things are happening right now, and we have to come to our rightful place and understand what Paul was talking about in the book of Ephesians 6, 10, and 18. He described the resource that God makes available to his followers, the armor of God. Here we are told how in a multitude of humility and dependence to we should reveal ourselves to God and his resources. I said again, we need to understand who God is and the resources that he has for us to make it in this day and time. Amen. Amen. You're right. You're right. You know, Pastor, oh, yeah. I love I love what you said. It, you know, the seed starts in the home. Yes, sir. Come on now. And what I found, and I and I'm speaking about my own home as well, and and I and I'm 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 having this battle with my daughter and r- raising my grandchildren. And the most worst thing that we as parents have let go of because we're so busy in our personal lives, we're trying to do this and trying to do that, is we allow this technology to take over parenthood. <clears throat> My grandchildren are so stuck on their computers and their phones, and through those, through that system, the enemy is there just lying and waiting. And they so, they so attached to this, it's a stronghold. They cannot put that phone down, they cannot put that computer down, and they are getting bombarded by all kind of negativity. So I'm speaking to my daughter, sweetie, Instead of letting them have complete access to all this stuff that's on the airwaves, let put them down. Open up the Bible. Read with them. Teach them Amen. the right Amen. way of doing things. And hopefully that will break that stronghold. Amen? Hey, Pastor, let's take a quick break. Hey, I'm Pastor Walter Owens, along with my co-host, Pastor Charles Emery. You know, Pastor, I want to welcome all our listeners to join us for our weekly broadcast which is Focus 2020, and they can find us where? At Joy 1340 AM and 98.7 FM every Thursday at 2.30 PM. And what will they receive once they get here? They receive a word from the Lord, and I guarantee you will be blessed. Amen. 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 You know, and it goes to the foundation. Yes. 
If that foundation is not founded on Jesus Christ, the solid rock, yes. then they're on sinking sand. Amen. That's the word talks about. And I was listening to a teacher on my prayer line a few days ago, and she had made a statement how these young people are so engulfed in Instagram and TikTok, mm. and so their minds are just stuck in that. They'd be up to 2 o'clock in the morning on Instagram, TikTok, and so they're not getting the proper rest they need to go to school. So when you have to do the studying for, uh, for exams, they don't know what's on the exam because they didn't study. Amen. They would be on TikTok and Instagram. <clears throat> so... So the thing is, is that we have to come back to the place where we begin to plant the word back in our home. And, and if the word is not there, the word says, except the Lord build a house, they live in vain who build it. So the watchman keep the city, watchman wicked, but in vain. So we got to get to a place where we, we come back to build, letting God build our houses again, mm -hmm. where he allow his love to be in our hearts, where we allow that same love enough to say, hey, child of mine, put that electronic down and study. My dad, when I was growing up, my dad managed me to read the newspaper. You know, he said, because you know what's going on in current events. And then come to find out, I had a class in school that was current events. So we had to study the newspaper, mm -hmm. you know. And so it's like he prepared me for something I didn't know I was going to get in school. But it, it helped me in the future for becoming who I am today. You know, <laughs> you both are on the money. And, and when we're speaking about uh, taking back our household, when we're talking about our youth. Matter of fact, we need as parents and leaders, not only in the churches, but uh, as leaders uh, and that God gave us the responsibility to have a covenant. We have to do, uh, in our notes, uh, I want to share with y'all, number three, turn and walk in a different way. Mm -hmm. We got to turn and walk, because the Bible calls it repentance. It simply means deciding to no longer do the sin again. That's right. This is not just a feeling of remorse for our sin, but it is a practical change in our life. We have to make that change. We have to walk different. We have to talk different. I was listening to T.D. Jakes this morning. He was talking about it comes to a time in your life you just got to let people go. I don't care they family, friend. If it doesn't line up with the word of God, especially I've learned when you ready to make that move and 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 walk the walk that God has you to walk in, the enemy is going to get real busy because he knows what you're doing. That's why our youth are so lost. That's why I, I love that, Pastor uh, Charles, when you say and, and, and Brother Tony, you got to read that word. Mm -hmm. What is the word? You mean, you just don't pick up the Bible and say, oh, okay, I just want to read this here and get it. That That's right. should That's be right. your daily, daily. communication Amen. with the Lord. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's what prayer is all about. Yes. Prayers is our way that, that we can communicate with the Lord. And he will answer prayer if we have a sincere heart. Amen. And Amen. it goes back to focus. Because if we don't have the focus as the parent, our children are going to have focus. And that's why when we always talk about the, the ear gates, the eye gates, the mindset, the heart. All of those components work together to make you effective in the kingdom of God. So you're either going to be used by God or used by the enemy. Like the word says, we rest not get flesh and blood against powers, principality, and wickedness in all yes. high places, right? Yes. So yes, we got to yes. understand that we're in a spiritual battle. You look in the news, you can tell we're in a spiritual battle. And not only that, but the enemy doing what he, he knows to do, we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Oh, Amen. my God. Go Amen. ahead, Brother Tony. And I agree with you 100% on that, Pastor Charles. Uh, you know, like I said, I relate and, and, and think about things that's in my own personal home. Um, my, my pastor, first of all, Pastor Walter, you, you mentioned earlier about um, being able to discern between a sin and keep repeating that sin. Yes. Yes. And I'm, yes. and I'm yes. reflecting yes. on my grandson. Uh, he's five at this point. And when he does something wrong and I'm around, I chastise him. And mm -hmm. he's gotten into the habit of saying, I'm sorry. Sorry about that is his exact, exact words. And I said, no, son, it's not that every time you do something, you think by saying, I'm sorry, covers that same mistake. You have mm -hmm. to learn not to do that same mistake. And that's what we're talking about now. Learning how to break those uh, 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 thresholds yes. so that we don't repeat those sinful things again in our lives. So we lean on we lean on the, the, the mighty arm of God to keep yes. us in his path and his righteousness. So therefore, when we come up across these things that, that tempt us, 
We can call on his mighty name to deliver us and guide us away from those things that we we might fall prey to. Amen. You know, I, right. I, I, when I was listening to you say that uh, God just dropped in my spirit. And that is so true, Brother Tony. But the thing that when I heard you say that my grandson, five years old. First of all, he acknowledged what he was doing. Amen. Number two, he said, now, God in the house, and thank you for being a man of God that is teaching him. Right, yeah, right, And that's right. what we just learned because he said, if you raise up a child. Then the way he should go. And then he would do what? Not depart from it. You see what I'm saying? Amen. So you're teaching him that seed we was talking about. You're planting that seed right now. So now he knows the difference. But if you just let it go and did not explain to him, mm-hmm. and that's one thing we have to do, family. That's why we love you are joining us every week right here at our weekly broadcast, Focus 2020. Keep our focus on God, that 2020 verse, yeah, uh, perfect vision. vision. Yep. We want See you all it. to understand is that we want not to tell you how to live your life, but we're here to teach you how to live the life with God. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's it. You know, so Amen. I thank you for that. Because if we don't start at home, the enemy is going to break that breach. He is. Yes, and that's he what is. we was talking about, Pastor uh, Charles, that transformation. Yes. How to change that breach. And what is a breach? A breach is something that if you have the right tools, you will be able to sell it. Amen. You know, and that's the thing I'm thinking of is that Jesus is a master masonry. He has the ability and the power to seal anything that's breached in your life. Like last week, last week I used the illustration of how when your house has that breach in the foundation, the house begins to shift and it gets cracks in the wall. Come on, so you're going to have a stabilizer bar and then you're going to have uh, the, the company come in and re-level the outside of the house to raise the house back up. And that's how God does with us. When our foundation begins to sink because we got to allow sin to over, overpower our, our, our righteousness, God knows how to come in and repair what the enemy has done in your life to make you holy and righteous again. You Amen. know, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm going to throw this at you, Brother Tony, and uh, you can add on. I'm just hearing Pastor Charles mention that when we're still in the breach, and one thing to make sure that the foundation is right, what you, I heard you say, Pastor Charles, you got to have a leveler. Yes. You don't want it. You don't want it to the time. It's yep. got to be level. And that's mm-hmm. what God is sharing with us in our life, Brother Tony. He said, I am that level. Mm-hmm. What you were sharing with your grandson. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm your grandfather. You have a father, but you have the, the master father. And <laughs> yes. that master yes. father is the one, as you shared with us, yes. Pastor, because Jesus, uh, uh, earthly father, was a carpenter. Yes, and a carpenter, a carpenter knows how to build, yes. and he builds with that level. And that's what God said. To stay in this kingdom that I have for you all, I want you all to stay level. Amen. 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 You know, Webster uh, describes the word breach as any weak point of any structure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like that. So, like that. you know, you can have a weak link in chains. That's a breach. Yes. Anything that you allow the enemy to infiltrate and in through a certain part of your heart, yes. your spiritual heart. Yes. That's a breach. Yes, it is. And I love what you said, Pastor. God is the only one that can fill and seal that breach. Amen. And Amen. If, we, if we keep... It takes one to teach one. So if we take one by the hand and show him the righteous way of God and let God fill that void that's in their lives, in their hearts, and in their spirit, that enemy has no way to penetrate. Then he will understand what it means to have the full armor of God. That's on. right. Whoa, that's right. Ahead. That's Praise awesome. God. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. I, I love that because, you know, that's what we have to do. Brother Tony, that was so powerful, wasn't it, Pastor Charles? Yes, he it said, was. If you teach one, yeah. you bring one. You know, and that's what we are all about here is to teach to not change your lifestyle because the only one that's going to judge you is uh, our Lord, Lord and Savior yes, Jesus Amen. Christ. But he's going to hold us responsible as leaders, as the parent, as the one that has the covering over your household is to guide and direct and make every sure that everything that is, is so fulfilled. True. Yes, that yes, is so yes, true. Yes, yes, you know, yes. I, 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 love, I love this here. Damn the transformation, man. how to receive the transformation transformation from the breach. Pastor Charles and Brother Tony, I want Brother Tony, I want you to give us a prayer. 
Pastor Charles, I want you to give us a word of courage. I'm okay. looking at the time. It's about time for us to get out. So, Pastor Tony, could you give us a, a word of prayer before we leave? It would be my pleasure. Oh, Father God, as we sit here and we reach out to you and to the world through these airways, Father God, we bless those that, that need your comfort, Father God. We ask that you t enter into their lives, into their families, Father God, strengthen our world, Father God. We need this comfort that you can, only you can provide, Father God. Bring us as people back to your fold, Father God, so that we may be whole and yes, we may Lord. be loving yes, and caring yes, and giving Lord. to one another. And all this that I ask, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 We want to encourage you today who are listening. If you got a breach in your heart, you know that it's there. Allow the Lord to come in and seal that breach in your heart to make you better and feel you the righteousness, truth, that you can live a free, fruitful life in the kingdom of God. Again, I'm Pastor Walter Owens, our special guest is. I'm Tony Turner. And Pastor Charles Emery. Oh! He's himself. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> He's finally out of all these years. Even Justin and I entered the news out of his head. Oh my God! It took. Won't he, won't he, won't he change? Won't he, won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. I'm glad your medication was. But once again, we want to welcome you all to every weekend at Joy 30 yeah. a.m. and 98.7 FM. Every Thursday at 2.30, we want to say thank you. God bless you. Until next week, God yeah. will see that every one that we had prayed for, you are healed in the name of yes. Jesus. Amen. And because Pastor Charles is healed, he knows who he is. <laughs> Until next week, we just want to say this to all of you. Shalom. Hey, I'm Pastor Walter Owens, along with my co-host, Pastor Charles Emery. You know, Pastor, I want to welcome all our listeners to join us for our weekly broadcast which is Focus 2020, and they can find us where? At Joy 1340 AM and 98.7 FM every Thursday at 2.30 PM. And what will they receive once they get here? They receive a word from the Lord, and I guarantee you will be blessed. Amen.